The Airborne Collision Avoidance System is the concept realized by ICAO which helps to prevent mid-air collisions. In the future, TICICE 2 equipment will be replaced by ACAS XA equipment. This video will explain you more about the new development of ACAS X version. The United States Federal Aviation Administration has funded research and development of a new approach to airborne collision avoidance known as ACAS X. ACAS X alerting logic is based upon a numeric lookup table which helps to calculate threat based on probabilistic model of the airspace. The ACAS-X probabilistic model provides a statistical representation of the aircraft position in the future. This is fed into dynamic programming to determine the best course of action to follow according to the context of the conflict. The lookup table is used in real time on board the aircraft to resolve conflicts. ACAS X collects surveillance measurements from an array of sources, approximately every second. Various models are used to estimate a state distribution, which is a probability distribution over the current positions and velocities of the aircraft. The state distribution determines where to look in the numeric lookup table to establish the best action to take. If deemed necessary, resolutionary advisory are then issued to the pilots. The different ACAS X variants are ACAS XA for active surveillance. The general purpose ACAS X that makes active interrogations to detect intruders. ACAS XA is the baseline system, the successor to TICIS 2. ACAS XO for operation specific, like closely spaced parallel approaches, for which it will not generate nuisance alerts. ACAS XU is designed for remotely piloted aircraft systems, it has capability of generating horizontal resolution maneuvers. ACAS SXU F designed for the small remotely piloted aircraft systems. ACAS XR A future version of ACAS X intended for rotorcraft helicopters. ACAS XP A future version of ACAS X that relies solely on passive ADS B to track intruders and does not make active interrogations. ACAS X installation is composed of 1. TICIS 2 processor unit, which performs airspace surveillance, intruder tracking, threat detection, avoidance maneuver determination, and the generation of advisories. Remember that a Mode S transponder is required to be installed and working for TICIS 2 to be operational. 2. It has two TICIS 2 antennas. In addition, two antennas are for the mode S transponder. One ADS B antenna is installed at the top of the aircraft. Three connection with the mode S transponder to issue complementary and coordinated resolutionary advisory when both aircraft are equipped with TICIS two. Four pressure altitude source. Five connection with the radar radio altimeter. This is used to inhibit resolutionary advisories when the aircraft is in close proximity to the ground. 6. Loudspeakers, for the oral annunciations. 7. Cockpit presentation, traffic display and resolutionary advisory display. 8. Aircraft discretes, optionally other data relating to aircraft performance may also be taken into account, such as, landing gear and flap status. Remember, TICICE 2 is not connected to the autopilot, nor with the flight management system. 9. For ACAS, XO, A control and input panel is required. Traffic display symbology is similar to that of TICIS 2. On the ACAS, traffic display both color and shape are used to assist the pilot in interpreting the displayed information. Targets are displayed by different symbols, according to their threat status. The vertical trend arrow and relative altitude will be shown next to each symbol, in the matching color. The relative altitude is displayed in hundreds of feet, above the symbol if the intruder is above own aircraft and below the symbol in the opposite case. Loudspeakers located in the cockpit alert the crew, by means of oral enunciations, of resolutionary advisories. All oral enunciations are inhibited below 500 feet, AGL or when ground proximity warning system, or wind shear detection warnings are active. 
ACAS-2 depends on the signals from the other aircraft transponders in order to assess the threat. It will not detect any non-transponder equipped aircraft, nor aircraft with an inoperative transponder. As altitude of the threat aircraft is required in order to issue an resolutionary advisory. Resolutionary advisories will not be generated against traffic without an altitude reporting transponder. Resolutionary advisories are coordinated only between ACAS-2 equipped aircraft. TICAIS-2 relies exclusively on interrogation mechanisms using transponders on board aircraft to determine the intruder's current and projected future position. Instead of using a set of hard-coded rules, ACAS-XA alerting logic is based upon a numeric lookup table. Hybrid surveillance method is used. It works in two modes active surveillance or passive surveillance. If intruder is not close, so it will not be treated as near-term threat and interrogation with this target will be done every minute. If the intruder is near threat, in altitude or in range, the intruder will be is validated every 10 seconds. If intruder is near threat, in both altitude and range, the intruder will be is validated every second. Purpose of passive surveillance is to reduce the interrogation rate and utilize that to validate ADSB data. Now we will summarize key points again. ACAS, EXA, is designed to allow drop-in replacement of existing, TICICE, two systems. ACAS, EXA, is fully compatible with current, TICICE, two systems and both systems will coordinate complementary advisories. ACAS, EXA, does not use the sensitivity levels which are present in the TICICE 2 design. ACAS EXA alerts are based on perceived risk and filter out many potential RAS where risk is low. As a result, ACAS EXA will not alert in some encounters where TICICE 2 would produce an alert and does alert in some encounters where TICICE 2 does not. TICIS-2 relies exclusively on interrogation mechanisms using transponders on board aircraft to determine the intruder's current and projected future position. Based on a fixed set of rules, the advisory logic issues alerts against a potential threat on the basis of time of closest approach and projected missed distance. Instead of using a set of hard-coded rules, ACAS, EXA, Alerting logic is based upon a numeric lookup table optimized with respect to a probabilistic model of the airspace and a set of safety and operational considerations.